Hey guys, so today I have here the JBL Quantum gaming headset and we want to take a look inside of this. So in particular, this is here the Quantum One. So this is the highest level of these uh, gaming headset series from JBL. And uh, so this is the one that does have the illumination all around the uh, ear cup here. So you see this here, for example, there's like a three different areas that you can illuminate in a different pattern not just like uh, the other models that have just some illumination in the center of the JBL logo. So uh, let's have a look inside and see how we open this and what we find inside. So we're getting access by first removing the ear cushions here so on the left and the right ear cup and we do this by using for example here a a knife or something sharp that you can pry in between the ear cushion and the ear cup and then you can sort of wedge that in there and dislodge some uh, clips that are in there. Now you can already see by this odd shape of the ear pad it will be interesting once you're going to have to replace the cushion here so you see how oddly shaped this is. So you're probably not going to find anything like this in the aftermarket sector and may have to contact JBL support to get a new cushion for this. So okay, so now we already see here the transducers of the speakers of these headsets right there, so uh, right in the center. And then around it are four tiny Phillips screws. So we're going to take those out and then see where we get from here. So you might think that you can just now take off this cover here and get access to the transducer. Uh, but you actually have to take off here this entire subframe here of the ear cup. So in this case this is here the left ear cup. And then we have to be really careful because there is two wires attached to the subframe. So one here on the bottom that goes to the side of the ear cup. And then one above here the one that goes all the way to the other side of the headset. So this is going to the right ear cup. And when we take a look at this small wire that goes to the side of the ear cup, then you can imagine that this is responsible for the illumination part. So it's in particular here, right, for the center illumination for the JBL circle here. So this is going to take care of illuminating that part the other areas are going to be eliminated in a different way. So you see here, also in the this white area on the left side here, the circle, that is like some semi-transparent plastic that's going to transfer the light from the LEDs here. You see here these white uh, squares? Those are LEDs and so they are going to illuminate and then the light is going to be reflected through this uh, transparent plastic and then the uh, ear cups are going to light up that way. And so we can see really what's going on. I'm just plugging in the uh, headset now into my computer and you see here now the LEDs, how they're lighting up and then there's this reflective white tape and then also here the circle in the center that is lighting up right now as well. See all the LEDs here in the uh, on the ear cup. So quite a few that's going to take care of the illumination part. So now let's see how far we can take apart here the outside, and so we have this transparent plastic here and that is kind of welded in plastic welded in you see these little welding spots so I can't really take this ring off without damaging the uh, ear cup here or not being able to put it back together to it correctly but we do have a couple of screws here in the center so I took those out and then we can tear apart here the frame a little bit more see here there's another subframe here like a, another ring that we can take off and you can see here the small cable here that goes through this ring and then to another PCB on the outside of the ear cup. That's where the illumination of this 
circle takes place. So as it looks like we can take off more here. So there's a couple more screws. There's three more screws here, the silver screws. So let me uh, take those out really quick. And when we take a look at the back side of this PCB here, then we find a couple more LEDs as we expected for this circle with the JBL logo on it. So you see the big area with reflective uh, material. So and the uh, LEDs on the side illuminating that entire area. And then we can actually take one more plastic piece out here. This looks kind of like a diffuser to make the uh, illumination more even. And then on the outside we have here these slots and in between it's completely clear. So next let us have a look at the big PCB here that goes all around the ear cup. And the first thing we have to do is remove these three little uh, padding strips here. You see these are kind of holding on to the wires that are going around in the ear cup. And so these strips here are really important because they are going to make sure that there's no extra noise coming from these cables when you are using the headsets. So they don't, the cables don't like vibrate inside of the ear cup and make noises that you don't or shouldn't hear. So uh, I'm going to remove these first carefully because I want to be able to reuse these strips here once I'm going to put this back together so that they're, the headsets are not going to make noise in the future. So I'm also going to of course remember where these strips are located at. And now I can carefully pry off the PCB here. So I'm going to pry this to the front just a little bit. We have to be really careful in this case because there is a ton of tiny wires here. You see the wires from the top going to the other side of the headset to the right ear cup. You see these here on the top and you want to be really careful not to detach those because you don't want to have some extra work here. So you see the cable coming down and then that's where they are soldered onto the PCB. Looks like there's also another cable here for a microphone that's going to the inside of the ear cup. And then on the frame we have here these holes. So this is the uh, microphone boom and then uh, the aux jack and the USB-C port. And then we can of course see those components here on the PCB. Now let's go and have a look at the other side here. You see here the button for the, the mute button and then here the uh, volume wheel. This is how that works. And if we go further, then we see two more switches here. And also here, if you can see this tiny little yellow dot here, that's the uh, power indicator. See here, this little dot here. So this is another LED. And then that illuminates here, this one area when you uh, plug in your headset. Okay, so time to put this back together. And then we're going to have a look at the opposite side, so the right ear cup as well. So no big surprise to see here that this pretty much works in the same way. We again have the uh, little wire here to the outside of the ear cup for the illumination. And then on this side though, we don't have any buttons. So, so there's no button controls here on this right ear cup. So there's going to be a lot less going on. Of course, you also see here the, all the LEDs for the illumination here of the outside rings. And then if we take a look underneath here, so underneath the PCB, then it's missing, of course, all those buttons and stuff. 
So this is much more clean here, this PCB. There's not much going on. We're going to take a quick peek here underneath. I'm not going to take out the whole board. And then we can uh, put everything back together. Uh, I have to be careful with the cables and then here also putting all the screws back in and tightening them really well because we don't want any extra noise that we don't want to hear. And then we attach the uh, earpad cushions here again. So we're just uh, pressing them on, of course, into the correct side here. Just firmly push them on, put the uh, push the clips back on so that they don't fall off here. And then we're already done here with the uh, teardown of the JBL Quantum One gaming headsets. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, then write a message below.